Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews today with the Zotac GT. Hello everyone, Lawrence here from Unicorn Reviews and today we're looking at this little card, the Zotac GTX 970. OC. I said it's small because you know it's a little bit shorter than the average card. It does come in a giant box though. And on that box it says it supports super resolution technology, GameWorks, GameStream, G-Sync, Shield, DirectX 12, GPU Boost 2.0 and a bunch of other stuff really. No one cares about all these specs do they? So this card uses an aluminium uh, shroud to cover everything uh, but everything is not an awful lot. It is a fairly small heatsink connected with three copper heat pipes directly to the GPU, of course. Uh, there are two 80 millimeter fans to cool it. So again, quite small fans, quite a small car. So this will be great for your smaller builds, um, as long as you can give this card enough fresh air. Uh, but we're going to see how cooling is later on in our testing. On the IO side of things, we get a single link DVI port. We get a dual link DVI port, a full size HDMI port, and a full size display port. Fairly nice to have. On the top, we see two six pin PCI connectors, a shiny Zotac logo with a nice texture to it, um, two SLI fingers. On the back of the car there is no backplate, kind of sad to see. I would really like, like a grey aluminium backplate like the heatsink on there as well. And then other than that it's pretty much it. There are no switches on this car, you know, to swap BIOSes or that sort of stuff. So let's have a look at how this card actually performs, how much noise it makes and then we'll do a conclusion. Right then guys, so we had a physical overview. Right now it's time to have a look at performance. Graphs are on your screen right now. If you want to have a detailed look at everything, you can download the entire GPU database with all of the data right uh, in the description, there's a link there. So it just performs like any other GTX 970, despite being slightly smaller than the ones I've previously tested. So no real surprises there. Um, same for overclocking performance. You can overclock it a fair bit, but it, you know, you have to keep the size in mind. So it is thermal limited quite badly. Um, in normal usage, it runs up to 80 degrees, especially in this case, which is very compact. Um, it runs up to 80 degrees. That is with 60% fan speed, which is very bearable. It's audible. Um, but you know it's not loud or annoying in any way. Uh, at 100% the fan spin up to 4000 RPM it does get pretty loud but that's something we only did, well I only did for the you know the maximum OC tests and you know most people will never have this these fans run at 100%. So overall I think it's a very good card especially given the price point. Um, so yeah I'd recommend it to anyone. Guys, if you like this video, press that like button. If you didn't like the video, don't do anything. Um, you can subscribe to Unicorn Reviews if you want to see more of my videos. They are live every Friday at 7, sometimes on Tuesdays as well at 7 Central European time. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter and Facebook for more frequent updates if you want that. And you can support me on Patreon to help me get better camera equipment, better audio equipment. Just to, so I can make you know better content for you guys. So it's you guys who win in the end. Plus I get to play with newer stuff. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.